Switching your hall closet over between seasons is something you probably should do on a regular basis. And now it was time for me to get mine from summer to winter. Hey friends, I'm Robin. I help overwhelmed people declutter all of the excess from their lives so that they can start living them. All right, grab your tea and let's go. I want to thank Dawn from The Minimal Mom for this awesome collaboration. This one is about decluttering your garage to get ready for winter. But just a couple of months ago, I decluttered my garage. Steph and I, uh, she's from The Secret Slob, we did a collaboration. So I will link that above and uh, down below. But I already did my garage. I have a couple of tips on that and I will leave that at the end. But I also needed to winterize my hall closet. Here's the thing. I live way up in Canada. Well, it's actually Southern Canada on Vancouver Island, but we still have seasons and those seasons require different clothing. For example, every season except for summer gets a ton of rain. So we usually have raincoats around, but I don't need my bulky winter coats out. So we put those away and a lot of the winter supplies. But for the summer, we have lots of hats and sunscreen in our hall closet. So it was time to switch it back. This is how we are getting ready for winter. Um, I am going to take out any of the summer stuff and then I'm going to find any garbage, any recycling, anything I wanna donate. I've got my bins for that and my garbage bag ready. This is a small little jacket that doesn't fit anybody anymore. So I'm gonna put that in the donation bin. And this is a summer sweater for my husband, but it goes upstairs. So I'm putting it in the bin where we put things that don't belong in this spot. Here's another cute little vest that I don't think my kids will wear. Here's another jacket that my kids don't wear. Here's a purse I was looking for that's been buried in here. So I'm just going to put that back in my closet. And as you can see, my hall closet was getting kind of messy. It had been a while since we had done some maintenance. I don't know what is up with this. Oh, uh, ho, ho, ho. these are my son's shoes. They are beat up and these socks are gross looking. Okay, I'm going to see if these fit my son. If they do, we can wash them. And we also store puzzles in here and seeds. And it was just really messy. I actually hadn't even switched a lot of the winter stuff out. So now I'm going to go into these drawers here and I'm going to take out um, any of the summer uh, hats, any of that stuff that we're not going to be needing during the winter. This is the cutest little hat that my son had in his closet when he was so cute and little, but unfortunately I have to declutter it. Here's a really old yucky hat. That's going in the garbage. Up there I have my puzzles. So I'm just gonna consolidate those. This is um, seeds. So they need to be kept sort of like cool and dry. The, the garage is just too varying in temperatures. And then this, I have taken all of the things that are still wintry, put them there and I've emptied these out, which really was just a bunch of hats. So, and now we're just gonna dust this spot. Ooh, it's dusty in there. So um, now that I have got the everything that doesn't need to be in here, in here anymore. I'm just going to put everything else back on the shelves here. And um, like I'm pointing at the shoes. <laughs> it's hard to see. This is such a tight spot. You can't see everything. So I'm gonna put all the shoes back on the shelf, sweep the floor here, and then put the rest of the jackets back. Now my youngest boy, of course, is lucky. He'll never run out of winter coats. So he's got a winter coat that he can wear but my older two need new winter coats this year. So I'm going to be buying some of those. But what I did was I took all of the winter coats and gave them a good wash. I put them in and then they're nice and dry so that I can sell the ones that are in good condition. And then my son's coat is ready to go as well. And then we give them a bit of a waterproofing also. So I'm gonna start putting jackets back. This one's mine. Um, this one is a size 12. So this fits my youngest, but my older two, I need to check what fits them. So I know some of these just don't. So I'm just going to 
put those in the donation bin. So before you put out the jackets again, it's always nice to give them a good clean, give them a good waterproofing. Of course, make sure they fit your kids. If you do this early enough in the year, you will be very happy because you don't have to suddenly scramble to find clothes that will fit your kids um, before the weather changes, which is terrible. Um, same with boots. I myself had a couple of extra winter coats that I'm not going to keep. And so I'm going to sell those because they're worth a little bit. Um, and as for my husband's stuff, I put his stuff back as well. This is actually my gardening apron. And so I'm going to keep it with my um, down vest that I also use for gardening. And I'm just going to keep those on their own little hook right here. Perfect. So the whole closet it's, you know, ideally I'd love it if it was just like a couple pairs of shoes and a couple of jackets, but there are five of us living in this house. So it is a space of utility that needs to be clean and tidy. So we also have our puzzles. So I organized that area and I took out any things that didn't actually belong in there. Oh, I just found an empty box of chocolates. That reeks of my husband. It was time to go in my garage where I do keep a bin of winter accessories. Now I threw all of the accessories on the floor and I organized them on category. I just started throwing them in piles. So I had one for hats, one for mittens, one for scarves and a few others. And this actually just really helped me get an idea of what things we actually needed because I didn't even realize that the kids hardly have any winter hats anymore. So that's good. I'm glad I'm getting to this before it actually gets cold and we actually need these things. And then I was able to look at the mittens and gloves to see what we needed and what actually doesn't fit anybody anymore. So I found some gloves that I can declutter. Now that brings me to bins. When I declutter, I like to have one for donating and selling, one for garbage slash recycling, and one for items that need to be returned to the rest of the house. So I threw any of the gloves that did not fit into the donation slash selling bin, although I probably will just donate those. And all that area was done, which was perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna put the uh, pants back now. And funny, I did not realize that we had so few hats for the kids. We have enough gloves, we just don't have enough hats. So that's so good to know now. I have a nice little storage thing in this closet, which is great. We don't have a mud room. I, I wish we did, but we don't, and that's fine. So we have bins where we can put um, like the gloves and the hats. So I put those in there. And again, I now need to buy some more toques for our kids, which is totally fine. So instead of having a crazy over the top messy closet filled with things from all seasons, I just have the one season in there and it's ready to go. Now those tips that I have for organizing your garage, they work in your hall closet too. And that is keeping things organized by category. Like I mentioned, I have my hats in one section. I have my gloves in one section, jackets, shoes, all of that. And you know what? The same thing goes for the garage. Have a section for your garden stuff, have a section for outdoor equipment, have a section for cooking. All of that is very helpful. And one of the things that I think people really do wrong when they are decluttering is they spend way too much time on it. I really think half an hour is usually a good thing. If you have a lot to do, doing more than that is just going to completely overwhelm you. If you have like 45 minutes of work, fine, do that. But for the most part, I think it's best to get it done in about half an hour. Okay, half an hour and I got this closet ready for winter and decluttered. I'm so happy. I now enjoy opening up my hall closet. It's easy to find stuff. My sons can just throw their backpacks in there nice and neat. It's perfect. So more about decluttering the garage, click this video. This is the one I made in the summer and I will see you in the next video. Bye.